Hello. We will uh, be talking about down payment integration with SD module in central finance scenario. So what happens is uh, when the accounting documents are coming from ECC to S4 HANA via central finance, then in source side, there might be some document related to down payment. So what happened to those documents? Uh, we will talk about this that particular specific scenario here. So what is added to SIFIN scenario is down, down payment of SD related document is enabled. So when post down payment with reference to a down payment request, uh, it's basically a down payment request is replicated from source system when it is a request based. And after down payment with reference to sales order, when it is a condition based. So there are two, two differences. Uh, there are There is a difference between the request based and the condition based. Condition based in sales order, you have a condition for down payment and request based is when you specially create a down payment request. When the special request is created, that is replicated. But uh, when the condi it is condition based, it's only after down payments. And carrying out clearing activities for down payment and invoices. And then what are the prerequisites? So of course, uh, it is important that you have to activate central payment. It, if you talk about normal CFIN scenario, it doesn't work unless you have activated central payment and it will only work for those company code where central payment is activated. And uh, the minimum system release is S4 HANA on premise 1809 or above uh, where central finance is up and running. So those are the technical uh, technical prerequisites and then central payment is a functional prerequisite. What are the features? So we will talk about a couple, both of them. Uh, as I mentioned, condition based I explained, request based I explained. I will talk about both of them. Some I will list out some features. In condition based, we have cash received in case of cash general. Post customer down payment, post incoming payment, uh, post uh, general document entry, bank statement, incoming check, lockbox or bills of exchange. However, we have a little bit less in, uh, in request based. We have bank statement, post general document, down payment and other items. I'll not read everything. So those are the key features uh, in terms of down payment request. So let's understand the architecture. So first we will talk about request based and the next uh, screen I will talk about uh, condition based. So in request based, what happened as I mentioned, you have to create, you especially create a down payment request against this order. So you have a, on the source side, you create a sales order. And this is a very important part of this whole uh, video because this will give you a clarity on how things move. So you create a sales order and then you create a down payment request on top of sales order. And then, then down payment request is automatically cleared. It's a technically cleared, exactly like in central payment scenario, it works. So things are technically cleared. And then the down payment request is replicated as open request in central finance system. Then on CFIN side, you make a payment because uh, of course uh, you are making all your payment from CFIN side. So your payment will flow from CFIN or S4 HANA system. And then after payment, uh, basically the remote, re uh, after payment, uh, it goes to the, from process perspective, when you make a down payment, nothing goes back to CFIN side. On ECC side, you make an outbound delivery, which is a PGI and then after PGI, uh, it you do the billing from process standpoint. But at the same time, there is a remote uh, when you do the down payment uh, and when you, or when you do the billing, uh, there is a remote, uh, there is a down payment, uh, remote read of down payment happens at the billing that there is amount of payment which has been provided already. For example, $100 uh, was a total billing and then $10 have been paid as a down payment. So that then system will only allow 90. And then, then that billing will uh, run as a technically cleared into in, in ECC side and it will be replicated as a open item in CFIN side. And then after that, once your receivable item is posted in ECC, in CFIN side, uh, then you have incoming payment happening on your uh, central finance system. So this is an overall architecture uh, where you have you write from start from sales order and you end up at incoming payment. And you also see the difference in the process as well as the data flow. So process is exactly uh, from business perspective and the data is exactly from uh, from technical and the, and the system standpoint where data flows. 
Now let's talk about uh, condition based. Uh, so in condition based, as I said, you have a conditions in the sales order itself. You don't have to create a separate request. So as per the part of process, uh, source system, the uh, sales order is generated in source system in ECC. And then you create a down payment request uh, in uh, S4 side in the central finance system. However, when in the down pay payment itself, uh, you retrieve a sales order number when you create a down payment and then uh, the down payment uh, the sales order number is being sent and then the out similar process the outbound delivery happens billing happens and here also exactly it works same uh, your down payment uh, remote read happens and the billing is uh, amount is reduced and then billing amount uh, billing uh, information is or the billing run uh, is technically cleared in ECC uh, a billing document and it comes as an open item in receivable as a receivable a customer receivable in ECC fin and then you have incoming payment done as a part of your incoming payments from customer so if you see condition based and uh, the request based the difference is mainly on down payment request uh, because here the condition are driving sales order condition are driving the down payment but in the other section uh, unique request created against the sales order is driving uh, the down payment. So that was an overview of uh, down payment integration with SD. Of course, it involves a lot of configuration, ALE setting, IDOC setting, as well as, you know, CFIN system setting that we will talk at some point of time in future. Uh, for now, I think uh, we have a good amount of uh, content available on uh, central finance. And this was a 29th video where we talk about the down payment integration with SD. I would like to thank you for all the listeners uh, and the viewers who are watching continuously the video. And feel free to post any questions you have for me. And also do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and refer it to your friends and colleagues. And uh, for sure we will come back with more uh, and more and more and more content on, on this area. This is the channel uh, channel link. You can feel free to subscribe. You can also scan the QR code and it will directly take you to the channel. Uh, and that was the summary for today. Thank you so much and have a nice day.